Okay, moments before an appointment. See if we can knock this out. Convicted and freed. Psalms 32, I acknowledged my sin to you. I didn't do it. It was a lie, and I almost got away with it until God stopped me. When I was in middle school, I was part of a group shooting spitballs in the back of our band. I'm sorry, let me do this again. When I was in middle school, I was part of a group shooting spitballs in the back of our band during a performance. Our director was an ex-Marine, ooh, big mistake, and famous for discipline, and I was terrified of him. So when my parents in crime, I'm sorry, when my partners in crime implicated me, I lied to him about it. Then I lied to my father also. Mm. But God wouldn't allow the lie to go on. He gave me a very guilty conscience about it. After resisting for weeks, I relented. I asked God and my dad for forgiveness. A while later, I went to my director's house and tearfully confessed. Ooh. Thankfully, he was kind and forgiving. I'll never forget how good it felt to have that burden lifted. I was free from the weight of guilt and happy for the first time in weeks. David describes a time of conviction and confession in his life too. He tells God, when I kept silent, my bones wasted away. For day and night, your hand was heavy on me. He continues, then I acknowledge my sin to you. Authenticity matters to God. He wants us to confess our sins to him and also to ask for forgiveness of those we've wronged. You forgave the guilt of my sin, David proclaims. How good is it to know the freedom of God's forgiveness? How is being authentic with God? How has being authentic with God helped you? How has Jesus' forgiveness light, lightened your load and changed your life? Thank you for forgiving my sins when I confess them to you, loving Father. Please help me to always be authentic with you. Uh there's a little something about forgiveness there, which is what we have in, in Jesus. Uh, but it also points to, um, let me point, let me see, where did it go? Uh, God would not allow me to, uh, God would not allow the lie to go on. He gave me a very guilty conscience about it. That's the Holy Spirit working with, with you. And that's when, when um, that's also what we listen for. You got a feeling, you got a notion, you know, hey, what, something's negative, something ain't right, it ain't supposed to be here. You have to pay attention to that. That's the Holy Spirit working in you. Love you, God bless.